Okay, it's time to take on GR number four. Now, he's in the Psychic Gym and has the Psychic Mask. Take a guess at what type of Pokemon he likes to use. I'll give you a minute. I hate Vulpix. Taros isn't that bad of an opener. He's a lot of help. Is that new coin paying off? Surprise, he uses Psychic Pokemon. Psychic and Water, to be specific. Oh, clearly he got a good card. Okay, that means I get to attack. Now, because I'm using my fire deck, I was definitely a little cautious when I played, but it shouldn't be too bad. See, look, he's already dead. Ten damage is nothing. Maybe because I know what Mew does, I'm not going to put any more energy on him. It's just not worth it. Alright, I got an Eevee, which is very good, because I have a Dark Flareon that is in need of evolving. Couldn't decide what I wanted. I figured I should put a potion on this guy because he's my best bet at this point. If he just spams water Pokemon, I'm dead. And of course, I got a really good pull. Yeah, whatever it is he tried to do did not work. Oh well, good news for me. I thought about it, but then I figured that Ponyta would be a better investment. Yeah, he got very unlucky in this fight. Unfortunately, energy removal is kind of a bitch. But it doesn't matter, the damage has been done. I am out of energy, though. Thanks. Don't ever do this, guys. Don't ever do any moves with coin flips that could potentially fuck you over. Just don't do it. Thought about it, but then I figured he's already out. He only needs one more energy. But yeah, there are several different jinxes in this game. I 
wanted to get my Charmander out of there, did not want to get one or two shot by whatever water Pokemon he had. And I was also kind of lucky too, because I only had two energy on this Rapidash, so only 20 damage. Bill is exactly what I needed. Thought about it, but then I thought, hey, agility. So that was definitely worth it. Thankfully, Jinx doesn't do too much damage. I figured I have a Charmeleon it would be better investing in something else. And of course, he gets both of them. I thought about retreating there, but I figured, eh, it's worth it. Chances are he's just gonna double slap and not get them. Or pound, that works too. Ouch. That's what happens when you don't know what cards do. Well, this was perfect. Well, my Charmander ahead of time. And he's Professor Rogue. I only have three Charmeleons at this point. It doesn't matter. I got the one I needed. Hmm, I guess I had four. My deck looks entirely different now, so I'm not entirely sure. Paralysis is a bitch. It's okay. Unless he evolves, he's pretty much dead if he knocks out my Tauros. Yeah, you can't retreat when you're paralyzed. Works great if they're already poisoned. It's too little too late at this point. Wasn't entirely sure what I wanted. Yeah, this one gets dragged out quite a bit. It's okay, he'll be dead soon. It's always good to be careful. That and I really like Rapidash. 
Now I'm just showing off. And he goes down. I was actually a little thrown off because he used psychic Pokemon. I was prepared for like fighting grass or something. Like bizarre. Electric and fire. Maybe water and fire. And of course they just give you the coin piece. I believe this is only our third one, however, because I did this a little bit out of order. Yep. Hey here, take this piece of plastic and allow you to fly in our blimp and go to our island and invade and take all your cards back. Right, you did such a good job of that last time. Okay, well, we're not quite done yet. I did lose some footage in the interim here, so I'm not going to be able to show you the entirety of this club. But I can at least show you up until the footage cuts out. Really sorry, guys. Well, we're in the water club now, and as you can see, the water club leader has been captured in this walled-off area of their pool. It's changed since the last game. There's actually sand in here. Anyway, let's take a look at GR number three. He has an electric emblem. Take a guess what cards he uses. I brought out my grass deck for this. Surprise, it's fire and grass. I was a little thrown off from the last guy because he actually used the type of Pokemon that was on his mask. Surprisingly, I did rather well against this guy. I didn't even have to fight him again. Just buffing up my Tangela. I bet you guys know why. And then Dark Charmeleon one-shots me. Yay! And that's where I lost the footage. Not to worry, though. I did eventually come out on top. Sorry about the abrupt end, guys. See you next time.